Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you um, how to deal with the ports. Now, with an IO port, uh, according to the data sheet, they can be either input or output. Um, and because they can be input and output, there are two registers you should associate with each port. For example, for port A, there is the data register, which actually holds the data, and the Tris register, which is short for tri-state. Tri-state meaning that um, uh, it controls a bunch of tri-state buffers under the hood, if you refer to the circuit diagram of the port. And what those tri-state buffers allow you to do is, def is define a direction for, for the port, I, whether it is an input port or an output port. Um, for the pic 16 f 877 uh, when the bit associated with the port register is a one, then that bit is an input. W sorry, that pin is an input, whereas if it is zero, then that pin is an output, uh, where you can get the values from the data register, which is the port register. Okay, that's the first thing you need to know. And the second thing you need to know is in the data memory, where you can note that all of the port or the data registers are in bank zero, whereas the data direction registers, i.e. the trust reg registers, are all in bank one. Okay, so here's a quick program that I just knocked up to just illustrate the point. Um, if I just step into, you will notice first what I do is I set up the direction of the port and then I can play with it as I, I see fit. So what I've done here is um, I have set RP0 in status to one. Yeah. And because of that, I've switched to bank one. That allows me to play with my tri-state registers. I have moved this value, which is zero F into working register, and then subsequently into the TRISD register. And what this means is that the upper part of my port, i.e. bits seven down to four, are all outputs, whereas bits three down to zero are all inputs, okay? So just after I finish doing that, I can just now clear RP0 in status, which means that I go back to bank zero. And then now I can check the, um, well, what I'm doing is I'm checking the value on bit zero of port D. If it's clear, I go to this line. If it's one, I go to this line. Currently, according to my watch window, it's one. So I'll just go to uh, the next line, which is is one. And then I move FF into the working register and I'm done. That's about it really. So what you should take away from this is before you start to use um, the the ports, you must set up the trust registers um, to tell it whether it's an input or an output, okay? And the nice thing is when you go down into the ports and you look at the end of each section, you always have the summary of registers associated with that port or peripheral or any other peripheral. And notice the value on power on reset or brownout reset. This means that when the picker starts it up, um, for this port, all of the pins are input. Okay, well, that's about it for this particular video. Thanks for watching.